the Morin family has seven children, three daughters and four sons. And whenever they go on a trip and they have to sit in a row of seven chairs, they all choose their seats randomly, but not today. This time, they want to sit in a row of seven chairs such that all three girls end up being next to each other. So there is no boy sitting in between the girls. So to get started, let's take a look at a possible seating arrangement. So we'll take our seven chairs and let's just fill them up. So we can put a boy here. Put the three girls there and fill the remainder with boys. So this seating arrangement is perfectly fine because you can see we've kept all three of our girls together. So as you can probably tell, there's going to be a lot of possible ways. And trying to count each individual way like this and just listing them out is going to take a lot of time. So we need to find a simpler way of solving this problem. Now one way to simplify a problem is to just reduce the number of people you have. So even though in this problem we were given seven people, what if we could find some way to reduce that number? And I'm personally thinking five. Now you might be wondering, what am I talking about? How are we going to take 7 and turn it into 5? Well, I'm going to show you. So instead of 7, I see 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 4 boys and 1 gigantic block of three girls. And we're going to consider this gigantic block as one unit. So you can imagine, whenever I pick up this block and move it anywhere, now all three girls are moving together. So you can imagine we could take this block and put it at the end right over here, so then the seating arrangement would be something like B, 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 G, G, G at the end. So the problem has been reduced to arranging five objects, four boys and one giant group of girls. Five objects can be ordered in five factorial ways. But is the final answer 5 factorial? No, it is not. Because within the block itself, the girls can actually be arranged in many different ways. Since we have three girls in this block, they can be arranged in three factorial ways. And this gives a final answer of 5 factorial times 3 factorial, which is 720. So that's 720 different ways that the seven children can be arranged in a row of seven chairs such that all three girls stay together. So once again, to summarize, the key step in this problem was to treat our three girls as a single unit. This way, we take a problem 
involving seven people and turn it into one involving one, two, three, four, five. Then we ask ourselves, how many ways can the five units be rearranged? Well, that's five factorial ways. But then within the block of girls, they can actually be arranged in three factorial ways. So this strategy of grouping things into blocks is very common in problems where you have to keep things together. Now, if this example was a little confusing, don't worry. We're going to get some more practice with another example where we have to keep many, many objects together once again. So let's have a look at the next problem.